start with the non-living levels of organization and you have your list. So I'm going to shift us to back to slides so that we can see um, some images here. Oh, and it looks like I need to change the size of this just slightly. Maybe a sort of a lot of size changes because I just moved things around because that's fun. Okay, so let's look at, um, keep your list, the subatomic particles. I want you to list out who is, who is a subatomic particle that we would include. Subatomic particles make up atoms. And this is a diagrammatic view of an atom. Again, we're going to spend gobs of time talking about each of these subatomic particles um, because they're relevant to life. They're relevant in living systems. What we have here, you can see my little mousy mouse. We have electrons which orbit a nucleus made of protons and neutrons. This is totally diagrammatic and um, is just a way of helping us visualize those subatomic particles. So three subatomic particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons, and they make up the atoms. Now, where did my atoms are the next level of organization and atoms can be organized in a periodic chart. Atoms have flavors based on the number of subatomic particles they have. So examples of atoms, oxygen, carbon, sodium, chloride, iron, did I say that one already? This list, this periodic table, again, we'll look at it. You'll memorize it. Just kidding, you won't. Um, it lists all the known elements that have been discovered through scientific processes. In our course, we will get really familiar with elements that are involved in life and we'll see them over and over and then we'll go like, oh yeah, we're talking about sodium, that's an atom. We're talking about oxygen. Oxygen is an atom, an element, a type of um, atomic particle. Remember, atoms can be put together like Legos to build molecules. And molecules um, have structures and they have functions. And I, just because this is um, a molecule that is likely near and dear to many of our hearts, this is a molecule of caffeine. If you look at it carefully, you'll see a C. What is that? That represents a carbon atom. H3, what is that? That represents three hydrogen atoms. And again, we'll talk about this in grand, glorious um, detail in probably the next couple of lectures. We get to dive right into chemistry and do stuff in lab. That'll be super fun. But it's nice to see the atoms, like the way that the atoms are put together to get molecules and then go, oh yeah, I like caffeine. That seems like a good molecule to me. As we know, molecules can be used to build bigger molecules. And an example of a bigger molecule is this biomolecule or a macromolecule. This is a gigantic lipid that we have here. It, the, it just says lipid. So what kind of lipid is it? We'll talk about how the lipid actually, um, like what this all means. This, these are strings of carbons and hydrogens, and we'll look at those in more detail, but you can see that's a little more complicated than the um, caffeine molecule was. And then, so you can see how we started simple with electrons and protons and neutrons, that's it. And now we're using those things to build atoms and elements and molecules and biomolecules, and they're getting more and more complex. Well, when we get to the organelle level of organization, we get really complex. And it, this right here is an example of a ribosome. It's a totally diagrammatic view, 
But you can see that we've got messenger RNA interacting with this ribosome that's made out of protein and ribosomal RNA. And that's, that structure is like a biomolecule. It's like built from biomolecule Legos. And then it has this like wild and amazing function of building proteins in your body. Other organelles, <clears throat> ribosomes are an organelle. Mitochondria are an organelle that exists <clears throat> inside your cells. The nucleus is an organelle that contains the DNA that tells the ribosome what kind of proteins to make. This is all stuff that we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about, but you can see that that we've built in our structure. We've become more and more complicated. And what was the next level of organization? Organelles are found in cells. So then, then we're in living systems. So I'm gonna come back to talk about those.